In this video, I'm going to show how you can calibrate your voltage and current sensor on uh, an APM. Um, in fact, these instructions will work for uh, any version of the APM that has a current sensor attached, uh, and it'll also work on the PX4 or the Pickhawks. So what I have here is my uh, APM 2.5. Uh, it's got a power module attached. Uh, I've got a standard handheld voltage monitor, and then I've also got this uh, uh, Turnagy uh, power analyzer, which can measure both voltage and current. And of course, I've got a uh, 3S uh, battery right here. Now I'm going to check the voltage of this battery. So I've got my handheld volt monitor, set it on the DC. Then I'm going to plug the red connector, the red lead into the red wire here, the black lead into the black wire, and I see the voltage is 12.47 volts. Next, 12.47 volts. Next, I plug the battery into my power module. Then back on the Mission Planner's initial setup optional hardware battery monitor screen, I can see that the voltage uh, that the APM is reporting is only 11.8 volts. That's in the battery voltage count. So that is not quite correct. I want it to be 12.47. So I come up to sensor, I change this to other, which allows me to customize the, uh, the conversion factor here. And I just type into this measured battery voltage, what voltage I actually saw, which was 12.47. And then I exit the field. There we are. Now it's um, updated this voltage divider. So it used to be 10, now it's 10.63902. And we can see that the battery voltage calc is now agreeing pretty closely. And if I go to back to the flight monitor screen, I'll see here that my battery voltage is showing the same number. You can actually also see that battery voltage on the flight data screen's status area if you look for, I believe it's battery voltage. Yes, there it is right there. Battery voltage 12.47. So that's all I need to do to calibrate the battery voltage. Okay, next we are going to calibrate the current monitor. So I have connected up the uh, battery through this Trinity power analyzer. Uh, and then into the uh, APM. So you can see here that actually the, the voltage is displayed on the top right and the current that's being drawn is on the top left in amps. So this is uh, 0 0.13 amps, that's about 130 milliamps. Then on the mission planner side, we can see what it thinks the current is by going to the mission planner's flight data screen, then the status tab, and then look for current. So currently it says zero. Now, uh, the current monitoring is not really accurate at really low currents. So the next thing that we need to do is um, arm the copter and then raise the throttle uh, so that at least about you know, 10 amps or so is being drawn. At that point, they, they, should, they should align. Uh, of course, I have uh, flipped over the propellers on this copter and rotated them one position around so that as I raise the throttle, it doesn't fly up into the air, but instead pulls itself into the ground. I will just zoom in now on the current monitor so that we can see it more clearly. And I'm, okay, here we go. So we're going to raise it up to about 10 amps or so, according to the current power monitor. Okay, so that's about 10.1 amps. Now on the APM side, you see it's saying 12, so it's too high. So now we go back to the initial setup and we reduce. Because the APM thinks it's too high, we reduce this amperes per volt. So the default is actually 18. I'll set it to that. We'll come back to the flight data screen again. Now the current is showing 10.5. So that's still a bit too high. So we go back again and reduce it a little bit more to maybe 17.5 tab out of the field. Now our current is down to 10.1. Still 10.5, it's still a bit too high. So again we reduce a little bit more, maybe maybe 17.2 or so. Let's try 
try uh, 16.9. There we are, 10.1. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That, that's pretty close though. Jumping around a little bit. That's that's quite close. Okay, so now we have a uh, calibrated uh, current.